Here I have some of the best hoodies I own. Well, what makes these hoodies so much better than the others? What makes them perfect? Well, first of all, they're all comfortable because what hoodie isn't comfortable? Because honestly, that's the whole point of a hoodie. But some fit better than others. And if you're wondering how can a hoodie fit better? What makes a hoodie a good fit? Today, that's exactly what I'm going to be going over. So for me personally, I love my hoodies to be oversized. I love having a drop shoulder. I love having the right silhouette. What I mean by silhouette is just not being too tight and just having one that's oversized, but not where it looks sloppy where it still looks maintained, where it's snug in the right areas, but loose fitting in all the right places. So let's see an example from a bad hoodie. This one from a brand called Dark Sport. So this hoodie, when I first got it, I thought it was pretty good. But then after a few washes, it's lost its shape. It's a size large, but it still fits me tight. There's no drop shoulder. It's a normal fit. Like I said, I washed it a few times and it completely lost its silhouette, its shape. The material is just not that good. And I'm not a really big fan of those drawstrings. Sure, the graphic is cool, but it's just not a good fitting hoodie. So that's why you got to learn what makes the perfect hoodie. So that drop shoulder is something that you should definitely look for when looking for the perfect fitting hoodie i like my hoodies to be snug on my wrists so that way it just feels a lot more cozy and high quality now i just spent the last few minutes talking about hoodies in a very passionate way so now that you know what makes a perfect hoodie in my opinion i'm also gonna be going over where to find the perfect hoodies honestly that's equally as important of course there are those go-to places to get the best hoodies right now but sometimes it can be quite expensive so i have those on the list and i have some affordable options so let's start off with that because in this channel i always try to talk about affordable options because i know for hand how it is to not have the money to afford all those expensive trends so here are those alternatives first place on the list is going to be hollister now that might surprise you just because hollister isn't really a typically a place where a lot of people talk about of finding the perfect hoodie trust me my hoodies from hollister have gotten me some of the most compliments that any other hoodies have gotten it has that drop shoulder it has no drawstrings doesn't even have the holes to put the drawstring and the wash looks great of course the silhouette is important but you also have to find the right color and i think this green colorway is exactly that and that's exactly why this one is one of my favorite hoodies in my collection and of course it's honestly pretty affordable now i say pretty affordable because the normal price although it's not ridiculously expensive it can be a bit expensive but the reason why i like hollister so much is because they literally always have sales and that's exactly where i bought my hoodie so i have this green one and i have a blue one bought both of them on sale and it was such a great decision the next one is going to be from essentials now i definitely had to throw this on the list just because this hoodie has definitely gotten me the most compliments than literally any other hoodie that i've collected honestly don't know how many times i'm going to say the word hoodie in this video but let's be real this has the perfect silhouette it has every check mark in every aspect of the perfect hoodie it's heavyweight so it definitely deserves a good place on this list now again the brand is essentials if you're into the youtube men's fashion scene then you will know exactly who this is from it's from tg men's fashion so don't get it confused with fear of god essentials We'll talk about that in a bit now there are a few cons when it comes to this hoodie i think the only con when it comes to this hoodie it's honestly pretty pricey now keep in mind this is probably my most expensive hoodie however it's definitely the most high quality one so just take that with a grain of salt i definitely think it is a good bang for your buck because you're getting what you pay for so again this is my personal favorite hoodie so if you have that money to spend i definitely recommend that one but if you don't i have some other options as well for example the next hoodie that i'm going to be talking about is going to be from minimal now this one is kind of an underrated brand in my opinion not a lot of people talk about this brand but they definitely should especially when they're talking about their hoodie so i own one from them and i gotta say i did mess up a little bit when i bought this hoodie it should definitely be ranked higher but this is kind of my fault so one i didn't realize that it's a lightweight hoodie and when they say lightweight they are not playing around this feels super thin so i'm not wearing it anytime soon just because right now it's freezing outside for me at least because i'm from california typically doesn't get too cold in the first place but for me freezing but maybe it's the spring or the summer and it's a bit warmer outside and you want to wear a hoodie this would be the good option now i like the gray colorway it's a bit faded kind of a little vintage i definitely think that's a thumbs up for minimal another mistake that i made when getting this hoodie i accidentally got the wrong size now because it was oversized i ended up sizing down but i definitely think because it's oversized you should go true to size so yeah that was completely my fault so it definitely should be ranked higher but for now it's kind of lower on the list now a hoodie that i definitely fell in love with is going to be the one from hours collection now i threw this one later on on the list just because I've worked with hours in the past, so I didn't want to sound too biased, but I do got to say this one is a perfect hoodie, especially right now that it's cold. It's heavyweight and it does a really good job of keeping you warm. Only thing I'm really not a fan of is the clip in the middle. I have no idea why it's there. I personally have never used it. Now to me, it just kind of looks like one of those brands that throws in a random detail just so they can stand out a bit. My opinion, I don't really see a need for it. So I'm really not that big of a fan for it just because it serves no purpose. One of my most comfortable ones, especially if it's cold outside, I recently just got back from Denver, which gets way colder than California. And I wore this hoodie there and I felt perfect. So it's really good for the colder seasons. Another great hoodie would be from New Balance. Now, 
If you thought their shoes were comfortable, their hoodies are just as comfortable. Now the one that I have is a full zip down hoodie. I just had to throw it on the list just because I was talking about those perfect hoodies, kind of the more classic ones, but I definitely think zip down hoodies deserve some love. That's exactly why I wanted to talk about it. This one is one of my more casual ones. It's very comfortable. I don't really wear it while going out, but I wear it more for comfort, but it honestly looks just as good, especially because it's a zip down hoodie, completely changes the silhouette. So it's something completely different. Now me personally, I think it looks pretty cool when you don't zip it up all the way. So that's exactly how I wear mine. So it's not really that heavyweight, nor is it that lightweight. So if it's pretty warm outside or maybe just a little bit chilly outside, this would be one of my hoodies that I'd be wearing. Now, I'm not that big of a fan of graphic hoodies, but I definitely own a few. One of the ones I should definitely mention is gonna be one from Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger is definitely one of the more popular hoodies out there, especially with their classic logo from the Tommy jeans. This hoodie, in my opinion, just looks great, but it is a little bit expensive. The one that I have, it's kind of a twist of it. It's a collab with Tommy Hilfiger and Bugs Bunny. I think it's something cool. I think it's something different. All right, so those are my favorite hoodies, but of course there are plenty of other places that are very popular right now that a lot of people talk about having the best hoodies. But the only thing is, I don't own those hoodies. But I did want to give it a quick mention, just in case you were in the market for that same hoodie. Well, the first one, definitely got to talk about, it's going to be the Fear of God Essential hoodies. This is definitely on my list. I've been talking about buying one for the longest. Only thing is, I don't want to pay resale price. Those prices are just ridiculous, They're terrifying to me. So I'd rather just wait for a restock, and that's exactly when I'm going to buy mine. Next one is going to be from Abercrombie. So many people talk about this one being such a comfortable hoodie. So I definitely got to see for myself very soon another brand that is very popular is going to be from cost definitely got to check this one out if you notice a lot of these places were online stores so there are plenty of ways to get discounts on these hoodies you don't really have to drop a ton of money now if you need help with shopping online i have a video on the proper way to shop online so if you want to check that out right now i'm going to leave a button for you to do that right here but other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you in the next video later